Okay, I assume you watched the pupil's book, lesson one. So now we do the practice one for the pupil's book. Very simple. Write the ratios, right? There are, well, this is thick, all right? Okay, there are five objects here, five triangles, and there are seven squares. What is the ratio? Very simple, five to seven, right? Or the other way around, squares, squares to triangles. Squares to triangles, seven to five. Squares first, triangles next, right? Okay, uh, next problem. The ratio of the number of shaded squares to the number of unshaded squares. Very easy, right? You can, you, you just calculate them and you will understand. So, uh, shaded squares, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, right? How many, how many unshaded, right? You, you count your unshaded, all the white ones, and you will get 16. Right, shaded to unshaded is 9 to 16. They're asking unshaded to shaded, the other way around, you just flip the numbers. 6 to 9, very simple. Now, uh, we learn how to, uh, how to group them, right? And how to simplify our ratios. We're not going to calculate the objects, right, in a bunch. We just calculate the bunches. There is a group, there is a group, right? There are two. And there is, there is group, 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 group. There are five. Okay, so what is what is the number of uh, bunches of rambutan? Rambutan is this fruit, right? The number of bananas, right? So two to five, we just learned that, right? And bananas to rambutans, other way around, five to two. Okay, uh, B, right? Again, we see our units. One unit has three flowers. It doesn't matter. Uh, what what kind of object you have? You have three flowers or three butterflies, three objects inside the unit, right? How many units? There are four units and there is one unit, right? So your ratio of number of flowers, flowers, two butterflies, flowers, four units, butterflies is one, okay? Sorry. And uh, the other way around, butterflies, two flowers is one, two, one, two, four, okay? One to four. Okay, write the ratios. We have a ruler, right? We have a ruler over here. Where's my pen? We have a ruler over here, right? In centimeters. And we have two objects here, centimeters, right? We have two objects. We have a stapler and we have, what is it? Pencil, I guess. And we have their length, right? So stapler is how long? Nine centimeters long, right? And the pencil is 13 centimeters long. Right, so they ask us, what is the ratio of the length of the stapler to the length of the pencil, right? Stapler to, stapler to the pencil. Stapler is 9, pencil is 13, right? The ratio of the pencil to the stapler is the other way around, 13 to 9. Next problem, they, uh, they tell us, <coughs> Samuel takes 15 seconds to swim one lap, 15 seconds to swim one lap. Terence, another guy, takes 11 seconds to swim. One lap, what is the ratio? Samuel to Terence, 15 seconds to 11, right? Terence to Samuel, 11 to 15, okay? C, Mr. Ahmad sells 8 kg of potatoes, 5 kg of onions. What is the ratio of mass? Potatoes to onions, potatoes 8 kg, potatoes 8 kg, onions 5 kg, 8 to 5. Other way around, onions to potatoes, 5 to 8. Now we have, instead of our ratios, we have a union bars, right? We have our cupboard, where's my pen? We have a cupboard and we have a shelf, cupboard and shelf, right? And we have, uh, instead of a ruler, we, have, we use unit bars. So shelf is four units of length, right? And uh, cupboard, if you calculate, it's gonna be nine units of, nine units of length. Right, we don't we don't know uh, what is it, what what is the exact number, what, what, how many centimeters, right? So, but we, we can make a ratio between the units. So, uh, cupboard to shelf, right, is nine to four. Other way around, shelf to cupboard. Shelf is first, and then cupboard, four to nine. The ratio of the total height of the cupboard and shelf. What is the total height of the cupboard and shelf? Right? Those are all union bars together. 4 plus 9 13. To the height of shelf, shelf is 4. 
right? The ratio of the height of uh, cupboard to the total height. The height of cupboard is 9. And total height of the cupboard and shelf, right, is 13. That's it. Okay? Problem number 5. Find the missing numbers, right? Okay, missing numbers. Interesting. What is the total units? You just calculate both uh, x and y. How many units total? If you calculate them, you will find that there are 17 units. 17 units. How many of each? 8 to 9. 8, eight x units and 9 y units. Okay. And so x to total, 8 to 13. Um, total to y, right? Total is 13 and y is what? 9. All right. Oh, sorry. 13. Why say 13? 17. 17 to 9. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right. Absolutely uh, same problem. What are the total units? Total units is 13. X to y, 10 x units and 3 y units. Right? Okay, total to x, total 13, x is 10, and then y is 3, and total is 13. Next one, 6, draw the models to show, to show the ratio, a, a to b, 9 to 5, very easy, right, there is your a, there is your b, and you draw your 9 units, how many of them? So two more. This is A and uh, B is five units. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, B. Draw models to show the ratio of C and D. So uh, do the same thing here and here. I'm going to show you the answer. All right, really fast. The problem. Grandpa gave thirty-five dollars to Linda and Diane. Uh, Linda received nineteen. Find the ratio. Okay, very simple. You have your unit bar. Okay, everything is $35. Okay, we divide it in half. One is 19, and how much is the rest? We don't know. Copy this model. So 35 minus 19 minus 19 is $16. All right, Diane received 16. Your ratio is 19 to 16. That's, oh, 16. All right, that's your answer, 19 to 16. Last problem. Uh, tank A has capacity of 7 liters, tank B 4 liters, greater, right? So, what is the what is the ratio, right? This is your A, 7 liters, 7 liters, right? This is your B, bigger, and the difference is, right, I need to be accurate here, like this, right? This is 4 liters, well, that's not very pretty, but you're gonna make a pretty picture. So, how much is B? Right, B is 7 plus 4, 11 liters, and tank, so tank B is 11 liters, right, and the ratio is 7 to 11. I'm going to show you the answer and you can do it pretty.